Hey everyone, here we are back for another episode of Saturday Fatterday. The home edition. Yeah, but this is a fun one. Yeah. Because we get to try a lot of different foods and you know, when we're doing the home edition. You can't do it there. We, yeah, we're, we're going to multiple restaurants to get food and then bring you back here to try it out. It's... And so today, we're doing the Battle of the Burgers. Who do we got? We have Carl's Jr. We have Jolly Bee. Bee. We have what a burger and then we finish with in and out all right why do we choose these well we started with in and out versus water burger you know texas versus california but we needed to expand out to a little bit more flavors so we went to jollibee well it was in the same plaza yeah <laughs> and Carl's Jr. was in the same plaza so we had a tough time cutting it off at four <laughs> yeah so if you guys are asking us what about x like I don't yeah. know, Five Guys, Five Guys, what Shake, about Shake Shack. Shack. Uh, we could have done it, but <laughs> we, there has to be a limit. So here we are, and you're going to know the difference between these four. When you buy it, and you take it home, and it gets all nice and cool. <laughs> that's right. That's how we're going to so, eat it. So it's all even, right? Nobody's hotter than anyone else. They're <laughs> all like room cool. temperature by now. <laughs> We've leveled the, the plane. Too. So the other thing that we did was we had we did two burgers from every uh, restaurant. We, we focus on, you know, a core burger that they had around $6, the $5, yes. $6 yeah. range. And then we went to like a, we call it like a... Uh, their specialty. Special burger. Or, yeah, yeah they're, what they're known for. Yeah, yeah. it's like what, what they, or what they're trying to present to right. us to spend yeah. extra money on. <laughs> so up to about $8 No, maybe. I think so, they hit about like 9 It depends, nine, yeah. yeah. Well, so anyways, I'll put the prices in as we go through them. So you guys can see and compare, all right? So let's get to work. Let's go. So we're gonna go with Carl first. And we're gonna start with his normal burger. So this is Carl's normal guy. The big hamburger. Was it big hamburger? Big, yeah, yeah. This is, it's right. called the Carl's big Jr. hamburger. Big so hamburger. Carl's regular burger is called the big hamburger. All right. It looks it flat. Looks <laughs> very, very flat. Yeah. <laughs> but right. it's got onions and pickles and ketchup. So yeah. there we go. And we didn't there modify there. anything. Everything yeah. is just, just how it is. Yeah. There we go. Right. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. That's all right. Now remember, they have char burgers. So, do you taste extra char? Um, you know what? It's sort of, it, it almost is like Burger King. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Burger yeah. King. Definitely not McDonald's. Very thin. Yeah. More Burger King. Very thin. Very Burger oh. King. No, oh, not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Oh. All right. This even bigger one is better. All right. So this one is the the big Carl. Big Carl. So, all right. Big Carl is two patties because the regular burger is just the big burger. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Big Carl, double the patties. There you go. Yeah. That's sweet. No. Hmm. What is that sauce? It's a sweet sauce in it. Huh. I'm not bad like, at it. Is that yeah. like Thousand Island? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this one's better than the first one, I think. I think so. This one yeah, has a way better flavor. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna go to Carl's Jr. I'll probably get the big Carl versus the the regular one. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Improvement. It got better. Mm. All right, we're stepping it up, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up, our favorite guy. Now, favorite. Jolly Bee is our favorite for fried chicken, obviously. They, they got gravy. burgers, right? They got burgers. So, okay, that's what do we have? Get so, we have the yum burger. Yum burger. Okay. With cheese. Yeah, the yum burger with cheese. So, we have to say that the ugliest burger was definitely <laughs> In and Out, like the messiest and the prettiest, the nicely packed was Jolly Bee. Yeah. Jolly Bee wrapped their burger and then they put it in a box. Everybody else just wrapped it and bagged it. So Jolly Bee, good job yeah. there. there All right, go. top points for presentation. This is their standard yum burger with cheese. Yum burger with cheese. And it looks like that sauce. All right, oh, some kind of white go. sauce. Mmm. I like this one better than that Carl's already. Very really different. It's, it's, mm. it doesn't feel it's, as dry. It is more moist. Yeah. It's a similar type of sauce, but it tastes, no. uh -uh. it's, it's 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 different. Mm. It tastes more Asian. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I can't even describe that because 
It doesn't taste like an American no, it grilled more, burger. Yeah, it right? more, it it's does, got that. Yeah. Mm. Can't describe it. Yeah. You gotta go try it. Mm -hmm. You just gotta have to try it. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. It's you know, different. I've, I've never actually had a burger from Jollibee, so. Okay. Yeah, we've had the chicken chicken sandwiches. Time and time again, we have chicken and the spaghetti. Yep, but. I think I've had the, the noodles. Aloha, the Aloha, what we're having next. Mm -hmm. I think I've had that before. I think I loved it. But Aloha is the prettiest out of them all. It was the the most formed, it didn't right. fall over, so. So where are we ranking so far? Before we even hit the Aloha, where are we at right now? Well, I don't know, because how can you rank them? <laughs> Let, let's try the Aloha first. Right. definitely gonna rank it right now. Look, the, look at the bun of the Aloha. You can see it's like, it. it like, mm. I wonder if it's a hoi. So two patties in the Aloha. Two patties, it has a pineapple, pineapple. and it has bacon. bacon. Pineapple in a burger. This is their signature. I've never tried a pineapple in a burger. It's gotta be good, guys. All right, All right. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's the best one so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That pineapple, I think there's no, there's no question, mm -hmm. right? That mm -hmm. flavor. As soon as you bite, mm -hmm. that pineapple just gives it everything. Who knew? Jolly Bee and burgers. Mm -hmm. Now you go get your fried chicken. Okay. <laughs> you get that Aloha burger. If mm -hmm. we're ranking burger versus burger, yeah. Aloha burger definitely blows. I'm the ranking that burger. Aloha burger. Mm. I think it's a little unfair though, because I think it's a bacon. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. No, but pineapple is really that good. Pineapple though. Yeah, that's a, that's a different flavor profile. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, so who we are, we are here for the actual reason that we're really here. How it all started. Whataburger. <laughs> in and out. Now we've heard like people, people in Texas don't like in and out. They say, nah, what a burger. Yeah, was. and then people in California are like, ah, exactly. in and out. Exactly. Yeah. So, as we are in the middle of the two, yeah. <laughs> we can judge any way we want. There you go. So this is um, Whataburger's signature regular Whataburger. All right. Um, you can right. say this, so comparing it to Carl's. It looks regular. like a Carl's. It looks yeah, similar. 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 All right, let's All right. go. There we go. It adds mustard to A it. A lot of mustard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can only taste mustard. Mm -hmm. Definitely is not as charred as Carl's. Mm -hmm. Charles has that little more burnt flavor with that char. So to me, it's if you like mustard flavor, you'll like this. Yeah. If you don't like mustard flavor, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> well, you order it with no yeah. mustard, apparently. Right, because it's, it's mustard. The mustard is overpowering on mm -hmm. this burger. It's a little bit of burger with your mustard. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of mustard. <laughs> All right. Got some mustard off. I gotta refresh. Mm. Guys, let us know if that's normal, though. Mustard I'm not burger. a water burger expert by any yeah. means. Mm -hmm. I've never had water burger before, so. I mean, I tell you what, if I Whataburger burger is not cheap, <laughs> what a burger. you're not cheap. <laughs> so, um, this is their uh, their their real um specialty, and this is their patty melt. All right, we're which back is to basically double. a double yeah. with onions and some uh, some of their sauce and some melted cheese inside of Texas toast because water burgers, Texas. So, I like the toast. All right, let's see. There you go. Hmm. Well, definitely better than the Definitely last. better than the burger. Mm. Maybe because there's no mustard. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they go heavy on the onions with this one. Grilled onions? That's good. Mm. It's good. I'm liking it. This one's good. It is good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Imagine. I think the meat quality of this one is better than Carl's Jr. Yep. And I feel, I'm gonna look, Carl's mm -hmm. Jr. is definitely thinner. Are you looking at patty wise? I'm thinking, yeah, meat quality wise mm -hmm. is probably so far the best meat quality. To With me, the double. Right. That's good. The single was. Mm -hmm. They killed the single with the. Too much mustard. mustard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. All right. We'll see how it goes. Up so, against In and Out. In and Out. We know In and Out very well, guys. We go there a lot. Why? Because it's the cheapest. It's, it's definitely the cheapest. And you get the most. So, 
This we, is your standard. We did a standard double double. Right, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Feel the bun. Feel how soft the bun is. The bun is, is the softest it's out of It's already the softest out of everybody. Yeah. yeah. Squishy, fluffy. All right. All right. Okay. This is your double double. There you go. Hmm. I don't know. This flavor is still. It's, it has its own flavor. And the bun is so soft. I think yeah. The, the most the most interesting thing is that the bun was softer than everyone else's, mm -hmm. and the sauce. I don't know. There's something unique about the, the in and out sauce. And it, you know, it has a good ratio of the tomatoes to lettuce. I, I don't know. I, it just has a really nice clean flavor. Yeah. Mm. It's definitely the cleanest feeling one yeah. out of them all. Yeah. All right. So it's this guy. Mm. Now, this is not, you know, <laughs> you know their secret menu. And so we had to go and find what is the best selling thing on their secret menu. <sighs> and we came down to obviously animal style. And uh, tell them what animal style means. So, an animal style is extra sauce, and, extra pickles. And it's cooked and in? It's fried mustard. in mustard. <laughs> but it's fried in the mustard, right? They're not putting the mustard on. Um, it is by far the messiest thing no. you could ever imagine. No. Just put it on the plate. So, your four by four means it's got four patties <laughs> and four pieces of cheese. So, it's a big burger. <laughs> But uh, it was probably the cheapest one, right? <laughs> Out of like all the, spe the, the yes. special ones. Yes. This does not fit in your mouth. <laughs> I think we're talking, I, I, will, I don't know how this is gonna work. But here we go. Uh, I, <laughs> here we go. All right, guys. Ready? Oh! Mmm. 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 I didn't realize how much... What are we doing to ourselves, guys? <laughs> no, I didn't realize how much the fried and mustard actually made a difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it does give a different... It's a very different flavor profile yeah. from the first one. Mm -hmm. When you when you put it side by side, yeah. you can really... I've never tell. noticed it before. Yeah. I've never had it side by side like never. this before. Me neither. Usually when we just get it, we, you won't know the difference. You just eat it. Yeah. yeah. And, and quite honestly, I didn't expect the bun to be so soft because I never ordered a bun. I get it protein style wrapped in lettuce. <laughs> so that's why I was surprised. Well, so the difference here is, right, when you do everything side by side, you can really notice the difference. Like if you're just going to one of these places by itself, it just tastes good and you can't really tell. And you'll be like, oh, they're all going You don't really know unless you're doing it on the spot with each other. Comparison side by side by side, it's, yeah. it's very, very unique. All of these yeah. burgers. Yes. Mm. So I would say, this quality of the in and out is probably my favorite. Um, but like flavor kick wise, I think that the Aloha burger was that 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 kick of like, this is different, but this is good. What do you think, Sean? <clears throat> I gotta say, I love, I love animal style burger. I think I could do with two less patties, <laughs> oh. you know? I think that's like the perfection of and double, two less double, things of cheese. double, double animal style, you know, but it's a great flavor on it. Um, I have to agree, the Aloha burger is a different flavor. It's not anything I was expecting. I think we have to get but, the Aloha no. burger anytime we go to Jollibee now. When we get our fried chicken, we always yeah. have to just get a, just a Aloha, an Aloha burger. burger. Well, I mean, people aren't going to go to Jollibee for burgers. Yeah. yeah. That's like secondary. Absolutely. Right. Add so, it on. Yeah. So, so for me too, I think the animal style in and out is my number one. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the Whataburger. I, I would get it if it was convenient. I, I'd probably eat it. But yeah, that Aloha burger Jollibee. Uh, very unique. We're not even talking about Carl's Jr. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I, I do Carl's Jr. too, but... Only That's just it's, convenience. Yeah, honestly. convenience. Yeah, it's right there. You if, if all four restaurants were in the same parking lot... Yeah, it would be Carl's Jr. Yeah, it wouldn't be Carl's Jr. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'll be honest, for, for, you know, I've heard a lot of hype around Whataburger, and I've never had it before. It's my first time. You know, it's it's a standard... It's big. Standard, it's yeah, they give size. you portions. Very good but, size. Uh, you know, in and out for me just has another, you know, it's, it's just another level. So we'll say the Yum Burger from um, Jollibee mm -hmm. was definitely the smallest burger. <laughs> it was tiny. Um, but I mean, these other places have their own yeah. smaller version. So like if you go to Whataburger, they have the Whataburger Junior. That's probably the same size as the Jollibee's normal Jollibee burger. So yeah. their Yum Burger. So that, I guess. They all have their smalls, mediums, larges, and doubles, and quadruples. Well, we also forgot that uh, In-N-Out gives, gives you peppers. When you ask for it? Yeah, you gotta get <laughs> ask for these peppers. And um, I called, like that. What are they called again? I can't remember. <laughs> it starts with a C. Yeah. <laughs> put it in, something. Put it in. Try to 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 try to
I never had it before. Good flavor. Not too spicy. That's nice. It's great. Mmm. That's good. <clears throat> Alright guys. So that's just our opinions. If you disagree, comment below. Let us know. And if you want us to compare other restaurants or other burgers, let us know. Yeah. We'll, we'll this is out. fun. Yeah. yeah. We love these types of videos. Yes. Nice little break. It the takes time stuff. though because we have to go to a lot of different places, yeah. but it's fun. It's so <laughs> worth it. It's, <laughs> that pepper has some pepper. I like it. Mm. All right, guys. Well, just remember, smash that like button, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next Saturday, Friday. Take care, guys.